YouTube videos are supposed to be fun and happy, but sometimes videos end up going wrong and people get hurt. From a time where Mr. Beast's video went horribly wrong, times where YouTubers got hurt, and times when videos did not go to plan. These are seven times YouTubers barely escaped alive. Like the video and subscribe in the next five seconds or this spider will be in your bed tonight. First, we've got the YouTuber Ben Brown. So Ben Brown was just making a video with his friends one day where they were driving around town. Everything was going normal, but then out of nowhere, a car ended up coming and hitting into their car. Everyone in the car was so shocked, but luckily no one was hurt. But you won't believe what ends up happening after this. <laughs> so Ben and his friends are driving, but look what's about to happen. Ooh, that's a yog, isn't it? I, I think... Whoa, bro. Oh my god. Holy Are you guys alright? Is everyone yeah, okay? Everyone. Whoa, bro. Oh my god. I think. Whoa, bro. Oh my god. I can't Holy believe. Holy Are you guys alright? Is everyone yeah, okay? Everyone. Are you alright? Oh, Is everyone okay? I'm alright. Right. Is everyone okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Watch the video until the end for 48 hours of good luck. Next, we've got the YouTuber Road to Shore who barely escaped alive in one of his videos. So Road to Shore was filming a football challenge with his brother and his dad where he was sitting on the roof and throwing the ball down to his brother. But when Road to Shore tried to catch the ball once, he ended up slipping and sliding off the roof of his house. This was such a scary moment and you won't believe what Road to Shore ends up doing after he falls off the roof. Let's check it out. Sorry, I am so sorry. Road to Shore ended up leaving a huge dent in his dad's car. Oh, okay, right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Next, we've got the YouTubers We Clown Around actually getting chased by a clown and barely escaping alive. So this family was just out in the woods one day having a good time, but then they ended up spotting a clown in the distance slowly coming towards them. This made them really scared, so they decided to run as fast as they could. Keep watching though, because what ends up happening after this will literally blow your mind, so don't miss out on that. <gasps> what the heck? That's not funny, get out of here. There's kids here. This clown looks super creepy, but look what's about to happen. What are you doing? That's not funny. This isn't a joke. Caleb, get back! So after this, these YouTubers run as fast as they could back to the house, but the clown was too close to them. They weren't sure if they were going to make it in time, so let's watch this clip and see if the family escaped from this creepy clown. It's not funny! Go, 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 you guys, get out of here! This family is being chased, but let's see if they can escape in time. That's... Get out of here! It's not funny! Get inside, get inside! Next, we've got the YouTuber Jelly barely escaping alive, caught on camera. So Jelly was at an amusement park one day and he decided to go on the roller coaster. Everything was going smoothly, but as we all know, roller coasters go super fast. And while Jelly was on the roller coaster, his head ended up hitting onto a pole while they were going at a fast speed. Let's see what ended up happening to Jelly while he was on this roller coaster. Guys! <laughs> Jelly has no idea what's about to happen. This is really fast. Next, we've got the YouTuber Vicstar. So Vicstar was out one day in the snow with some of his friends. He thought it would be cool to show off to his friends and try doing a trick in midair while he was skiing. But this trick ended up going wrong and Vicstar ended up hurting himself. All of Vicstar's friends thought he was fine, but then they actually had to go to hospital since he ended up hurting himself. Let's watch this clip and find out what ended up happening to Vicstar. Yeah, 50 quid if you land a 360. Doing it with the backpack, that's the dumbest idea, let's go. It was at this moment that he knew he 
Vic starts laying in the snow and his friends are about to come and find him. You mate, you look like that oh, that's good. Ow. My shoulder's really fucking hurting after that one. Okay, so chilling at my hospital bed for the night with Lachlan and Elliot and Billy who came to uh, check on me. Lachlan and uh, Billy weren't actually there. Uh, no, the fated accident, you guys just watched it. Thoughts? Uh, more brutal than I thought it would be, yeah. Next, we've got the time where Mr. Beast barely escaped alive. So this was actually during his challenge where he survived underwater for 24 hours straight. This challenge was going good, but then Mr. Beast actually started to get a headache and started feeling really sick. Mr. Beast then ended up explaining that the reason he got this headache was because the way the machine was pumping oxygen to him was completely wrong. So Mr. Beast was actually breathing in really harmful chemicals this whole time and things could have ended up being a lot worse. Let's check it out. I hate to disappoint you guys, but I randomly started feeling extremely sick while sitting underwater and I had to come out. Like I just had this strong urge to throw up. I think it's- So Mr. Beast is getting a really bad headache because he was breathing in harmful chemicals. After a while, it just really got to me and I just really couldn't. So Mr. Beast later ended up finding out the real reason he was feeling sick and ended up explaining it. Let's check it out. Yeah, the headache. Yeah. Have you figured out what that was about? Yeah, it's because uh, I was an idiot back then and the, like we were pumping air in. But the CO2 or whatever the f*** you exhale, wasn't getting pumped out. Yeah, getting pumped out. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're just inhaling your own carbon yeah. monoxide. Yeah. And so then when I started getting yeah. a headache, I was like, oh. Dioxide. And then dioxide. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. Carbon dioxide. So then we like called someone who knew what they're doing. They're like, yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, okay. And I just got out immediately. Okay. Yeah. Next we got the YouTuber Casey Neistat barely escaping alive. So Casey decided to do a challenge one day where he climbed to the top of one of the highest mountains in the world. But one thing he didn't know is that if you climb these mountains, it gets super hard to breathe when you're close to the top. So when Casey was climbing, he was struggling to actually breathe and he had no idea why. He wasn't sure if he should keep climbing since he was so close to the top or if he should just go back down. Let's see what ends up happening. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. I can't breathe, but... I would never be able to live with myself if I didn't go for it. Casey isn't sure if he should continue or not. To take every ounce of energy I have in my body, I've got to get to that f***ing summit. This is it. This is me summiting the tallest mountain in the southern and western hemisphere. Next, we've got Dan TDM barely escaping alive. So Dan TDM was just walking in his kitchen one day and he actually ended up slipping and hitting his hand on his kitchen counter. Luckily, Dan only hit his hand, otherwise things could have been a lot worse. Put my arm out to just try and save myself from falling over and instead I whack my arm up to, well, I whack my hand on like the edge of the kitchen island. Also, click on one of the videos on your screen. This has been Adventure. Peace.